Bravo, Livingston Mouse by Pamela Duncan Edwards Illustrated by Henry Cole One night, Livingston Mouse put on his explorer hat and set off to investigate the wild wood. As Livingston ran into a clearing, he found a woodpecker and a beaver building a stage. It's for dance performances by special artists, said the woodpecker proudly. The show starts in an hour. If you hurry, you might catch the foxes rehearsing their foxtrot, said the beaver, pointing to the edge of the clearing. Great, said Livingston. Save me a seat for the show. As Livingston ran on, he heard the sound of quarreling. The foxes are panicking, explained a cicada. It's only an hour before the curtain goes up and they still can't get their fox trot right. As Livingston watched, the foxes started shuffling through the grass, arguing loudly. You stepped on my paw again. It's your own fault. I told you a hundred times, you go backward, I go forward. I'm sorry I said I'd be your partner. Excuse me, said Livingston. You really make a handsome couple, but I think your rhythm's off. I beg your pardon, said one of the foxes. How many times have you danced the foxtrot? Never, replied Livingston. Exactly, cried the fox. Why should we listen to someone with no fox trot experience? Go away. Pay no attention, the cicada told Livingston. Foxes are very bad mannered. As Livingston and the cicada wandered off, they came across a bored looking bee. The twist. Rehearsal 32, he buzzed with a yawn. Half a dozen snakes reared up from the ground, wriggling violently. We're tied up again, wailed one. That's because you keep going left when you should go right, shouted another. Get your tail out of my eye, bellowed a third. Excuse me, said Livingston. I really like the way you wriggle, but I think your rhythm's off. I beg your pardon, said one of the snakes. We do not wriggle. We slither. Do you slither? No, replied Livingston. I scurry. Exactly, cried the snake. Why should we waste time speaking to a creature that scurries? Go away. I'm fed up with these stubborn snakes, cried the bee, and he flew off with Livingston and the cicada. Stupid shoes, cried the voice suddenly, and a centipede stumbled into view. He's supposed to perform the clog dance tonight, chirruped a grasshopper, but he keeps tripping over his boots. Excuse me, said Livingstone to the centipede. I really like your shoes, but I think your rhythm's off. I beg your pardon, said the centipede. How many feet do you have? Four, said Livingstone. Exactly, cried the centipede. How can a creature with four feet give advice to someone with 50 feet? Go away. Wait for me, cried the grasshopper. I've had enough of this bad-tempered centipede. I'm coming with you. On a patch of grass, eight frogs faced each other in a square. Bow to your corner, croaked a large frog. Let me see, he cried. do see do yeah, that's it. do see do take your partner. No, don't. Bow to each other instead, I think. Wait a minute. Ouch, cried the frogs as they fell over each other. He's mixing them all up, 
chirped a katydid. He's a hopeless square dance caller, giggled a cricket. I'm so confused, wailed the large frog. Excuse me, said Livingstone. You have a beautiful voice, but I think your rhythm's off. I beg your pardon, said the frog. Did you squeak? Yes, replied Livingstone. Exactly, cried the frog. How can a creature that squeaks know anything about croaking square dance instructions? Go away. How rude, taunted the katydid. Come with me, said Livingstone to the cicada, the bee, the grasshopper, the cricket, and the katydid. I have an idea. The moon was high as the woodland creatures gathered in the clearing. Quiet, please, called the woodpecker. For our first performance, the foxes will dance the foxtrot. The foxes stood staring at each other, paws rooted to the stage. Then, into the clearing marched Livingston Mouse and his insect band, humming, buzzing, chirping, chirping, and strumming. Slow, slow, quick, quick, went the rhythm. Suddenly, the foxes began to dance. Around and around they whirled in time to the music. What perfect rhythm, cried the woodpecker. What a perfect foxtrot. Livingstone raised his baton once more. The band played the twist for the snakes and the snake slithered and twisted, hissing with glee. Click, clack, click went 50 centipede feet as the band played a clog dance. The frogs bowed and do si doed and do si doed again. Swing your partner, cried the frog as he croaked his square dance instructions in time to the music. At last, as pale light shone through the treetops, Livingston laid down his baton. Three cheers for Maestro Livingstone Mouse, cried woodland creatures. You saved our show. Will you play for all our performances? I will, said Livingston. And that's exactly what he did. This is the end of Bravo, Livingston Mouse. If you enjoyed this read aloud and would like to hear more, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.